Hi everyone. Guess what kind of day it is. It's going to be a wine diary. We're having some wink wine and we all know thirsty is no way to live. Hi everyone, I'm Nancy and welcome to my home. Welcome to my channel and welcome to another Friday Night Wine Diaries featuring Wink Wine. So I know a couple of months ago I had mentioned that I had heard some rumors that Wink was going out of business and I could see where they filed for bankruptcy. I could see that another company offered to buy them and then that was it. I couldn't find anything else. So I've just kind of been carrying on like business as usual. And so we got an email kind of finally explaining it. So I'm going to read from what they said. So it's a breaking corkscrew news. So it says, hold on to your glasses because we've got some seriously juicy news to spill. Wink has a new owner and we're over the moon. Brace yourselves because the VIP treatment is coming in hot for all you wonderful folks even more great wine soon from more spots around the world at the low price you love supercharged shipping speeds like lightning fast we're talking one to two days more wine options for some of our previously limited states we see you in new jersey and louisiana a fancy schmancy new website that will make it faster and easier to find the perfect wine. Customer service that continues to be so awesome, you'll want to give them a standing ovation. Here's a virtual toast to you, our amazing wine-loving amigos. We support, your support makes our corks pop and our glasses clink. We couldn't do it without you. And we're sending you more gratitude than a bunch of grapes in a winery. Alrighty, so that makes me feel a little bit better. I had kind of gone online and I checked some other sites. And I didn't want to get more than the four bottles of wine because they have a way of building up on me. So I am getting ready to open up my 18th box of wine. This is my box from June. I still have July and August to open so I'm excited to be getting into it I don't mind you know in the future I might have to put it on hold just because I want to do some other wines like Halloween October is coming so every time I do a video in October I want to open like like I did last year every video kind of be in like a Halloween type costume and open some kind of funky named wine I thought that was so much fun I had so much fun exper experimenting with that can't wait to get into it but you're probably wondering if you haven't seen this before you're probably wondering Nancy what is wink what are you talking about well I'll tell you so wink it is a wine subscription um, your first four bottles I'll have a link below if you use my link um, it's going to take you to the website they'll ask you a questionnaire about different foods that you like from there they will curate a box of four wines for you now if you know the kind of wines you like you do not have to take their subscript their recommendations you can purchase any wines that you like if you do however want to join the club and again your first four bottles with that link is going to be $29.95 full disclosure if you do not use anybody's link and you go onto their website you're still going to get that $29.95 uh, offer for your first four bottles shipping is free but if you use my link or anybody else's link that you know they get a full not a full yeah that's a full bottle you they get a full why do i want to keep saying full they get a bottle of wine so if you use my link i would get a bottle of wine and yes it would be full for a few minutes anyway and again if you decide to stick with it and you're going to give your ratings what you thought about the wine did you like it what didn't you like about it the next month they're going to do the same thing they're going to recommend some wine for you again you can choose their recommendations or you can go on your own if you do stick with it it's going to be 59 dollars. shipping is free and sometimes the wine they offer are a little bit more so other than that 59 dollars, you might end up paying you know maybe six to ten dollars more depending on what wines you do pick Alrighty so much fun 
again so that'll be in the link below i have a video up there maybe my first wine opening of them and then at the end i always have a playlist of the different wines that i've had and just the different costumes and things that i've worn but it's because it just kind of makes it fun you know you just can't drink and just you know you have a video you have to kind of look like you're having fun right i'm having fun so anyway for the wines for this month well for june I had two from California, I had one from France, and one from Spain. It is a summer wine. In fact, it's called Summer Water. Summer Water, and it's a rosé. 2021 rosé from Central Coast in California. And it probably tells us a little bit of the back. On the back, it's 12.5% uh, alcohol, and summer is a state of mind. Learn more about it at summerwater.com. I am tongue-tied today. I have no idea why. But anyway, this is just a twist cap. So let's see if I can do it without making too many funny faces. Alrighty. You just have my normal funny face. Let's get that open. And um, got my yoga glass. I do yoga. Just kidding. I drink wine in my yoga pants. Alrighty, so let's pour a little bit in here. I've got a little bit of a dinner too. So let's put a little bit in there. Let's kind of stir this around. This is my tag for my dinner. So I don't forget what it is. Alrighty, so I'm just going to kind of swirl this around. Get some fragrances to unleash here. I smell something. feel something tart back here. Could be lemon. Could be lime. Maybe even grapefruit or a combination. Um, something sweet like strawberries and maybe some watermelon very I can feel my mouth watering already so anyway cheers everyone happy Friday I don't think I welcomed you properly I'll do that after I have my sip cheers everyone or clink clink mm. it is tart but it's not bad at all. I can't, it's more tart than lemon, so I'm thinking lime, but I'm not positive. Definitely some grapefruit in here, but it's sweet, like with the strawberry and the watermelon. So it's gonna be a perfect little summer wine to have. And because I didn't greet you properly, what the heck is wrong with me? So anyway, I'm Nancy. Welcome to my channel, everyone. You guys, you guys are awesome. Thank you so much. It means so much to me that you're able to take a few minutes out of your day to spend with me. It means more to me than I can ever let you know. So thank you from the bottom of my heart. If you're new to my channel, I'm not always this rude. So I hope you take a second, hit that little red subscribe button over there. I would love to have you come back and join us for future videos. Your comments, of course, are always welcome. And I always appreciate a thumbs up. That kind of helps get my video something with the algorithm, the more likes you get. The more comments you get, the more views you get, is the more that they, YouTube kind of promotes your channel, puts you on other people's feeds so that they can see you. So again, that's always important, no matter whose channel you're watching, so that they get credit for the views and comments and, and like. Alrighty, so let's get into this. Let's, let's do the dinner part now, shall we? Because I'm getting hungry. Friday nights, I'm always hungry. Alrighty, so from Target. I actually went to the store by myself. I did a Target shopper um, earlier this week, but I didn't know what I wanted to have with, with my wine. So I actually went out by myself, did a little shopping, and got this. So I've had this before, and I do like it. It is the Bourbon Black Pepper Beef Sirloin Steak Tips, and it's their Good and Gather line that you get right at Target. It's already cut up it's pre-seasoned i did of course have to cut it a little bit more and it would have been 17.22 a pound and so it was just under a pound and so it was 13 dollars 99 cents i'm sure it's got directions and things like that on the back so it just tells you a little bit about how to prepare it i'm having mine on a salad you know in the summer you know you don't feel like always having a big big meal but you want to have protein and you want to have some vegetables. So I've got a salad here. And I've got those bourbon, the pepper bourbon beef step tips. I've got some, some Hidden Valley Ranch dressing. 
and uh, again they didn't have the blue cheese crumbles again so I got some feta cheese and so that's going to be my dinner alrighty so let's have a bite shall we sometimes it's just so hard to resist okay got a piece I'm going to dip it in there I want to get a piece of feta cheese in there I really like steak tips with my salad with blue cheese crumbles but the stores around here don't always have it Alrighty. Cheers. Mmm. That is so tender. Nicholas, my fork. So tender. Cheers, everyone. Mmm. I had to get one more sip in. This is really good going to go great with my dinner it's going to be just a great summer wine even if you're having hot dogs or something frankfurt is can't call them hot dogs anymore frank is because my great danes loved hot dogs but i didn't want to call them hot dogs because i didn't want to, them to think they were cannibals so we call them frank is all righty of course anything cooked outside tastes great doesn't it all righty so great wine everybody looking forward to having that and so let's talk a little bit about the wine. Alrighty, so printed my cheat sheets in June. I had to go looking for them because I don't want to print them again. So, um, 2021 Summer Water Rosé. Um, did I tell you that in this box that I got, I got two wines from California. I got one from France and one from Spain. I know, sounds so good, right? So anyway, back to the Summer Water Rosé. Out of the 2,186 people that had tasted it, they gave it a rating of 4.1 out of 5. So that's really, really cool. It says it's easy drinking, it's citrus, and it's pretty. Who doesn't want to drink a pretty wine? Alrighty, so back to my cheat sheets. Okay, so blah, blah, blah. Um, body is medium, it's dry. The alcohol is 12.5%. The tasting notes are lime zest, pink grapefruit, strawberry, and watermelon. It says summer water is more than the rosé of the season. It's a state of mind and every drop is full of pink tinted possibility. Sounds like a great wine to have while you're watching the Bobby movie. Summer water rosé brings the sunshine no matter the season. This perennial favorite is delightfully crisp, lighthearted, and destined for a good time. The grapes for this wine were picked early in order to achieve a natural acidity that's ideal for warm weather drinking. To ensure as little extraction from the skins as possible, we used the direct press method. Retaining the delicate fruit aromas and pale color rosé is known for. The result is light, aromatic, and dry, with notes of melon, peach, rose, and citrus. Light fare like shellfish, savesh, which I don't know what that is, and salads will pair swimmingly or just drink it any time you need a boost of happiness. It says how to serve it chilled. It pairs well with Thai food, fish, salad, and fries. Now the recipe, oh my gosh, that they had paired with this and just suggested is a jalapeno marinated chicken tacos with watermelon salsa. I tell you, if I was having this wine and I was having a few friends over or something, a little dinner party, I would definitely go through the trouble of buying the ingredients to make that or something as similar to that as possible. That sounds so good so refreshing the wine is refreshing i mean that sounds like the perfect little summer meal maybe sitting out by the patio or out on your deck having a little campfire oh that sounds like a perfect evening doesn't it except if it's like 100 degrees and high humidity then inside during the in the air conditioning would be so much better but anyway i want to thank you guys so much for spending part of your Friday night with me, having a little bit of dinner and wine. We all know how much I appreciate you guys. I hope you guys know how much I appreciate you. And you know, it's not just because it's not healthy for Nancy to drink alone. You know, I had to get that in this somewhere, right? So anyway, I think this is a 
I think next Friday is going to be the Friday before Labor Day. So most of us will be having a long weekend. And then whether your kids are already back in school or getting ready to go to school, it's either their first weekend off or their last weekend home. Alrighty. So anyway, I hope you guys take care. Stay safe. Be kind. Be happy. Enjoy life. Have some fun. Have a great weekend. Make memories. Take pictures. Save them somewhere. Just not on your computer because we all know computers die. They crash. The hard drive gets infected. Who knows what. Print them out. Put them in a book somewhere. Maybe if you have a gun safe, if your husband has a gun safe, put them in there. Keep them safe. Put them in the freezer. No, I don't think you can put them in a freezer. But yeah, make memories. Because years later, when the kids are out of the house, you're going to really want to look back and look at the memories you created. So anyway, before I ramble on, my dinner is, well, you know, it is kind of cold already. But anyway, my dinner is getting lukewarm. I'm looking forward to having my dinner, having my rosé, and just having a great weekend. Take care, everyone. Love you guys so much, and we will see you in our next video. Bye-bye.